everybody, this is Dr. David. I'm going to show you how a couple of these advanced administrative controls work in Zoom. So I've logged in a couple different times on some different devices. I'm the host and I've got two guest logins. And what I want to do in this video is show you some administrative controls. So you're logged in with all of your meeting participants and you want to go over here and kind of control what's going on, go to this little more menu. And how do you get here? This little panel on the right hand side, when you're not in full screen mode, you can turn on and off the participant section and you can turn on and off the chat. But if you have them both on, it divides the screen and gives you this nice panel like this. And then you'll see this more button and under this more button you could um, make everybody muted on entry that's a good one um, allow participants to do certain things or not allow them or activate or deactivate your waiting room lock the meeting or maybe even lock screen share if you've enabled students to just take over the screen you can lock that feature temporarily uh, so I like to have that one active all the time to make screen share easy but uh, if it gets out of control you can temporarily lock the shares then another thing is over here in the top, you can see uh, different views. There's like a gallery view and a speaker view. Okay, that's um, the gallery view. Go back to speaker view now. So that's speaker view. You could pin one of these speakers. So let's say uh, you want to always see this person talking. You could pin that person and then that person will be talking at all times or come back and pin this person. And then finally, there's a, a menu. So let's say you have a meeting You in the settings here. Uh, you want to look at maybe some audio or video settings that need to be adjusted. But even more important than that is this one called accessibility. You might have seen it before. Or maybe you never thought about doing this. If you want a list of all of these, uh, just email me or look in the links uh, below on my video post. You'll, you'll find a PDF for this. But there's some hotkeys. And on the accessibility menu, the hotkeys are really great. So for example, like, uh, let me show you how some of these hotkeys might work. I'll close that. So you're talking and you see the little menu at the bottom. Sometimes that menu disappears. Well, if you don't want that menu to disappear, you can hit the Alt key and it'll turn off. Of course, it'll come back if you move your mouse. But then sometimes the frustrating thing is that that menu disappears like that. So if you want to stay on all the time, you can toggle it on permanently, which is something I like to do because then I can always see the menu in case I forget about the controls at the bottom of the screen or off. Also, I can change views just by memorizing some of these keys. So. Uh, right now, I'm going to look at the speaker view, but I could put this set of hotkeys and go to the gallery view or this set of hotkeys and go back to So that's kind of an easy way of doing it, switching my view back and forth. I can, I can toggle lots of things back and forth. So those are some really good administrative controls that will give you a lot of, uh, a lot of functionality while you're doing your meeting. One thing I always recommend is maybe look at your participants and if you're going to have a big meeting and be in control of views or be in control of shares or your waiting area um, or student voting or you know whatever you might have going on in a large group to really facilitate your meetings, maybe it's breakout groups or something like that, then um, what you might consider doing is having a co-host so have somebody with you during that meeting that would log in and then you could come over here and make that person a co-host then by making a co-host they would have the controls and they can monitor all of your participation interaction take uh, control of the audience using the advanced administrative controls and things that I've showed you for managing your meeting all right um, I uh, think that that would probably be good for right now. So there's lots of features in Zoom that can make this like a little community where 
you're talking, interacting, and everybody is participating. And it's all really easy. And there's just so many things you can do. So have a good day and enjoy teaching.